All right, so for this, again, this was a Google drawing. So from the drive, if you had to start over, you would just go to new, more drawings. All right, um, to get the pictures in, I went to insert image and you can search or you can upload from your computer all these things. Um, these were shapes, so I said insert. I think you could do shape from here, or you could do it from the shape tool here. Actually, that's not gonna help you. All right, so, and then for the words, they have these other things, they're called callouts. So you could do that, put in a text box to write what you want to write in there. Ah, come on, select. Maybe he says stop, something like that. All right, you can always zoom in also by uh, clicking on your magnifier and see a little bit more. So now for your characters, that would be probably the hardest part about this. Um, let's see, if I do cameraman, which actually I'll show you why this is hard. Because if we say image, you might be able to find a cameraman All right, so if you wanted this picture, where did it go? There it is. So now we have this area around it, right, which, you know, we wouldn't really want to have that, that image there. I don't think we have any formatting options to do that. We're going to have to take it into another program kind of so let's see here if I go this is the one I found that's online so if we say if this was our camera person we can say copy image address and I believe we can say load and paste let's see if we get that there it goes all right so now in here you can take this is similar to photoshop and there is an eraser in here so we can just erase all this stuff i'm not going to go crazy you can spend a little more time on your own doing this All right, and then we can save it as a PNG. Very important that you do that. Hopefully, I will have my transparent background. I might have to go back and just check this or do something else in here. But there is my file, and let's see if that worked. So I'm gonna insert image, upload, Go to my pictures, and I like looking by details and sort by date. There's my PNG file. All right, so that did not save my transparent background. Let's see if there's something else I can do in here. I know, 
Do, 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 do. Let's see. In regular Photoshop, that's what we do. Oh, there we go. All right, so what I did was when I opened the image, there was a little lock icon over here that I was able to unlock. And now when you erase your background, you get this transparent type of background. All right, again, I'm not going to get this perfect right now. Let's just see if it works. So we still have PNG. We see transparency. I'm going to go to pictures again. And now if I come back to my drawing and insert it, now that area that I erased has is gone away. So what you'll be able to do then is layer your pictures on top of there, whatever you find, and then um, you can kind of make it look like these scenes are happening. The last thing I would do would probably be to put some lines in between here just so that it looks more like a comic strip then uh, you know they're kind of have a little more separation to them and then maybe I would just finish off by adjusting this to the size there All right, so what do you think about that process, Isabella?